Today, I picked out for you the five most shorted stocks on the U.S. stock market. I conducted a thorough analysis, looked through various screeners, and spent quite a bit of time to provide you with the best information. We will analyze each stock, look at the charts, examine the fundamentals, whether short squeeze is possible on this company, how much we can earn by buying these companies, and whether it's worth buying them at all. Also, most importantly, we'll discuss strategies on how to earn on these stocks while practically not losing anything. It will be very interesting. The Novavax stock in fifth place has 40% of its shares in uncovered sales. Let's look at it right away after we figure out what it does and what its potential is overall. Novavax is an American biotechnology company based in Gaithersburg, Maryland that develops vaccines to counter serious infectious diseases. Prior to 2020, company scientists developed experimental vaccines for influenza and respiratory syncytial virus RSV, as well as Ebola and other emerging infectious diseases. Let's look at a larger chart and see that it has fallen very sharply by 99%, but as we can see, it had very, very good growths and also very strong declines. Let's quickly look at its financial indicators. As we can see, the company is currently unprofitable. Let's not delay with the fundamental indicators. Let's look at its chart. Let's open weekly candles and see that it was already at such low values and there were times when it grew by a lot. For example, in the 2000s, it grew by 1000% and then fell, then again grew by 300%. Then in 2013 to 2014, it had a very strong growth also by 1500%. Then it fell sharply again and was at the bottom until 2020. It had the same low values, my friends. It was even lower at $3.80. It grew by 44,000%. If you had invested $10,000 there, you would have become a millionaire. But also, we need to look at its consolidation period. Last time, we were at the bottom for about 300 days. Let's round it to 300 days. Here, we are already at the bottom for about 400 days. The question of when it will fly higher is very difficult to answer immediately. Let's look at its volatility and what options can tell us, and they can tell us a lot. First, we added more volatility. Yes, its volatility is very high. Options are quite expensive. Let's look at the volatility smile. Surprisingly, our smile is very wide. At levels of $1 and $1.5, yes, we start to decline and volatility increases there, but in reality, the volatility line is quite straight, indicating good potential. Let's also look at open interest. A fairly decent volume of 40,000 contracts is concentrated at the $7.5 level both in put and call options. We also have very large volumes concentrated at the $5 level. Therefore, what could this indicate is that we have several huge walls. And if we need to keep an eye, my friends, if this company breaks through first $5 and then consolidates above it, and then $7.5, then there may be very serious movements implied. But again, I want to warn everyone, this is by no means an investment recommendation. I would not recommend buying these stocks without hedging because predicting price movements is extremely difficult. I personally do not buy them. If I were to play them, it would only be with a strategy. Let's see how and with what strategy they can be played. I'll develop a strategy right before you. This will be done through options. You can build something like this strategy, but again, here you will need to manage because if the stock doesn't move anywhere, we will have a small loss, but there is unlimited profit potential. If the stock grows significantly, we can earn a lot. Also, I do not recommend buying near-term options, but if you want to buy options, then only for at least 300 days. It is preferable to buy even more for example, for 600 days. This will be a good reserve. Yes, they are very expensive, but it is a very smart decision. For example, let's calculate the potential income. If we buy, for example, 10 call options for $60 each, and if the stock returns, or at least grows back to $300, then potentially you can earn $300,000. Therefore, if you buy a little more, you can earn a cool million dollars calmly. But I immediately warn you, you won't definitely make this money because most likely you will close earlier. And in general, to earn on this stock, you need a strategy. Without it, there is nowhere to go. If you want me to help you develop a strategy, write me an email. But again, if you want to take a risk, then no more than 1% of your capital. That's it. There should be no risks here. Again, I remind you about the strategy. The next company, Arbor Realty Trust. It has 40% of its shares shorted at the moment. The company is quite large, $2.5 billion. By the way, an additional bonus is that it pays dividends. Let's immediately look at its chart. Nothing unusual is happening here yet. Let's take a more extended chart. In 2007, it fell very sharply. It fell so much that it could almost go bankrupt. Let's look at its financial indicators. Actually, its financial indicators look quite good. As we can see, there are very serious growths. In 2017, it grew by 74%, in 2018 by 35%, and in 2023 by a whopping 40%. Also, its margin is growing very strongly. Net income is also growing very strongly. Actually, the company is very interesting even beyond the short squeeze. Let's immediately move on to the analysis of options and what can be derived from them. Actually, everything is very good. Volatility today is not that high. 
therefore buying options will not be so expensive. Also regarding the volatility smile, as we can see the nearest dates and expirations have a fairly well distributed volatility, so the smile is more or less even but the further out you go, the more volatility is skewed towards puts, towards a decrease, and towards an increase we have a serious flatness, let's immediately pay attention to the open interest. Volume is also quite good. We have concentrated strikes at the $16, $15, and $14 levels, but as we can see, the put strikes are much, much more numerous. These are at the $11 one and also $14 levels. Yes, for now, this stock is being pressured by puts. And I like this stock much more than the previous one because it has good financial indicators bankruptcy is not looming in the near future at least, and it would be unfair to ignore such a stock. Let's immediately look at the strategy, what can be devised here. Let's open up longer dates right away. Volatility here is low, so it's worth a try perhaps something like this strategy. As we can see, we have decent profit stability up to $50, a slight dip around $17.50 and then growth to infinity. This is related to the purchase calls, a very interesting strategy. By the way, I might even open it, but again, I strongly advise against opening this strategy without understanding the options market first. Study the system first, read books, delve into it, and only then create such option strategies. But again, if this stock grows, it could bring in a very solid day. The third company, Atmos Filtration Technologies here, is starting to get much more interesting because it has 70% of its shares shorted. Yes, we're moving on to real heavyweights, which can just skyrocket your portfolio. You'll simply forget what the word work means. The stock only went public recently, just a year ago, but I want to draw your attention to its value. Firstly, it's worth $2 billion and it has income. That is, it has a margin. And that's very, very good. I love such companies. Let's take a closer look at its financial reports. As we can see, there's not much information here, very little actually, but the numbers look very good. Also, its balance sheet stability is good as well. Let's return to this stock, my friends, you won't see anything like this elsewhere. But look at this pattern. As we can see, we're heading towards the third peak. Again, I don't particularly believe in technical analysis, but the volumes here are starting to increase. As you can see, perhaps no one has ever told you this, but again, we're heading towards the third peak. Huge volume, a very large percentage of shorted shares, a quite decent company, and all will be decided by volatility. Look at this, my friends, someone knows, perhaps even analyzes this selection. Honestly, I made this video especially for you and discovered this stock myself, and maybe I'll come up with something for it in my big portfolio. It's time, guys, to make some money. Thanks to recording this video, maybe I'll make a decent profit. Why? Again, we have very high volatility. Very, very high volatility. This isn't just random. I also suggest looking at the volatility smile. Here it's just something, it's nothing understandable for a novice, but actually for a professional as we can see, behind this noise you can discern a direct smile. That is, volatility is directed both towards calls and towards puts. So we see that they are approximately equal. Let's also look at the historical and implied volatility. As we can see, the implied volatility of this stock currently exceeds the historical one. And let's definitely look at the open interest for options so that we can already form some strategy. As we can see, there is a huge, huge open interest at the $25 level, also at the $30 level, but all these options somehow expire this week. I would like to draw attention to this. Yes, I also delved deeper and found a couple of pieces of news. Here's what we have. Announced the final exchange ratio for its previously announced split-off exchange offer to Cummins shareholders to exchange their shares of common stock of Cummins for shares of common stock of Atmos Filtration Technologies. The exchange offer is currently scheduled to expire at 12 midnight New York City time at the end of the day on March 13th, 2024, unless terminated or extended. Let's quickly look at the volatility and then move on to building an interesting strategy. All right, professionals will immediately understand something here. Studying the options board, I found a quite serious downside in this company. It's its huge spread. That is, liquidity in options is extremely low. So we see that the spread is almost double. This is, of course, very bad. There's nothing particularly special about it. Of course, you can buy a course, you can buy a couple of calls. But again, I will continue to monitor this stock, but I wouldn't be surprised that after such consolidation, after such action will just shoot up. In the beginning, everything needs to be analyzed. A plan needs to be developed. Everything needs to be carefully thought out first and only then take action. I will definitely take care of this. And if I do something with this stock, I will definitely inform you second place, Imperial Petroleum. It has 75% shorted shares, but again, the stock is quite small. Market capitalization is only $54 million. This is, of course, very appealing to me. Also, the stock only recently went public. But at the moment, as we can see, it could have been worth $150126 before today's values. That's a 3,000% growth, my friends. Perhaps this company will make you very wealthy, but this is not certain. By the way, it has good financial indicators. It is profitable. Very strange because it earns much more than its market capitalization. This stock will need to be looked at. 
Again, more detailed information about it needs to be studied. Let's see what's happening with options and volatility. The options on this stock are not that plentiful. There is a lot of volatility, which is also quite high at 80%. Volatility smile looks good, pleasant, directed both towards increase and decrease. And the biggest problem is the small concentration on just three strikes. We only have four strikes on this stock, and again, a very, very large spread on the volatility, which is very bad for devising sound strategies. And the finalist winner is our Riley Financial with insane 82% of locked shares. The company is also small, worth $630 million at the moment, and it's currently in the red. Let's look at its chart. As we see, this company was around $100, but currently very interesting moments are happening. Firstly, very elevated objects. There's also consolidation happening. Here, my friends, we have two options. Either we could correct here, or there's potential for movement in the other direction. Again, this is solely related to the massive short squeeze on this stock. Let's quickly look at the fundamentals of this company. Actually, the company is growing year by year, as we see, with a quite solid growth by all indications. Yes, it was profitable, but now it's showing no problems with the balance sheet of the company. Again, if we look at its chart, we're stuck here. There's some consolidation happening. Where we'll go is hard to say. Let's immediately turn to our beloved options and volatility market. Maybe it will show us something. First, as we see, the volatility here is just skyrocketing. Volatility at 200, minimum volatility at 130. We need to take a closer look at what's causing this because such volatility just doesn't happen. Very interesting. Let's also look at the volatility smile as we see everything is skewed towards decrease. This needs close attention. Also, let's look at the open interest in options by strikes. There's a very large volume concentrated at the level of 30, less at levels 2, and our options are at level 10. If someone doesn't understand why I'm dissecting all of this, for professionals here, everything becomes clear what goals this stock has. When a gamma squeeze or short squeeze might happen on this stock, after which volumes, meaning after which strikes the market maker will have to buy this stock heavily to hedge their positions. That's why I pay close attention to this, to then further earn a significant amount of money on this company. Let's look at the options table. Also, as we see, the biggest problem is this low liquidity, meaning in the short term, yes, we don't have a very large spread. But if we go a bit further out, for example, three spreads, as we see, the spread between options is very, very large. Of course, you can devise an option strategy for the nearest expiration dates. But again, the problem with all these stocks is their liquidity is not that great. But again, I want to repeat once again, there is no guarantee of these stocks growth. There is no guarantee that a short squeeze or gamma squeeze will happen. If you don't have well thought out strategies, I don't recommend you get involved with these stocks. These stocks can only be traded by professionals. If you still decide to try to make money on these stocks, I urge you to spend no more than 1% of your capital. If you break this rule, you will definitely lose here. There are no magic shortcuts here. You just need to manage your positions wisely, my friends. Success is not about finding some stock, but about managing your position skillfully. If you need help with building a portfolio, write to me via email for sure. I also recommend looking at NVIDIA stocks, where I also talk about very interesting strategies. Good luck to everyone.